Hi everybody, it's Jean. I'm just uh, out on my patio and I'm going to kind of play with these these um, colors here. I bought all these for a dollar and it's fabric paint and I thought well I don't know why you couldn't paint with fabric paint or play with them somehow. I don't know that I have any fabric I want to paint and they're kind of interesting colors. This is a little shimmery pearls color. This one is a dark chocolate. This one, it says brush on fabric paint and it's really thin. The rest of this is pretty thick. This one might be thin too. I don't know that I've even, oh yeah. That's, I think that's the one I, I no, that isn't the one I used. I used this one before. Anyway, on my Facebook group, I made some of these and I had kind of a really funky background and I didn't really like how they turned out. But what I did is, oops, <laughs> I just poured some, poured some on here. Oh, I know what I did before. I did get it wet before. So we may not see the same, but I'm not going to do the exact same thing anyway this time. And I pour a little bit there. I, I feel like I can be wasteful because I only spent a dollar for these. And let's try golden metallic. This feels thinner. So, I'm just going to drip it for you. And what I found interesting is if they didn't mix when they dripped. See this one especially? Let me see where my camera is. This one right here. And I really can't see what you're seeing here. I'm hoping you're catching it. And what I, I got out to do this on is acrylic artist pad paper. So maybe once it's dripped, I'll see what happens. Uh, it won't be a jelly plate, but just see how thick it is. It, the paint is really thick. Look at this. See how I love how that doesn't mix. And it does look like it's beginning to blend a little bit. <clears throat> but that would be interesting all on its own. I'm not real fond of experimenting on camera. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then we'll take another sheet. And we'll mush it. gold shimmer. And that turned out okay. And let's see how many of these we can make. That's kind of neat too. So let's add some pearl. 
to the next one. And let's add a little more gold because that gold is so pretty. We have that color, we have that color. We, let's put a little chocolate on here. Let's see what this is. This is like a little mocha. I think that would be okay on here. Well, we can do the other jelly print with that too. And I might want to hurry because let me just get another print off of this one while it's still wet. Because there's so much paint here. Okay, that uh, didn't quite, I maybe let it dry too long. This still looks great, fabulous. But now, I'm anxious to see what this will look like. I'm almost using this whole book. Because, again, this came from the thrift store. For, oh. That looks awesome. Now this one, look at that. That looks awesome too, but it doesn't have near the color that that one does. So I'm going to add some color to that. And I'm going to smush this. Really well. And again, this has the better color. So, Let's add, well, I don't know. Not sure what that is or how that got there. Set it aside. Let's add some more color. To this one. And oh, this might be interesting. What is this? Oh, this is black. I don't know if I want black, but I'm going to put some of this. I'm going to drip some of this blue on here. It's not thick. In fact, let me make that run a little bit. Just a little play, 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 play. Okay, now, do I have any paper left? Yes. There's still a couple sheets on here. One, two sheets. So, what I want to do, what I kind of like to do is just really smear it. There. Ooh, I like that. I like that really well. And I love this one. 
but I want a little more gold. So let me take this one and smear it on there a second time and see what happens. Aha! Yes, that looks awesome. Now, this is another one that didn't have much to it. Let me throw a little more blue on this. And some of this pink. Because it's thin too. And I'll roll it around. Oops, I don't know if it's thin. Ah, it's like snot. Okay. And a little bit more of the gold because I can't stand it. I love this gold. Let's roll this around a little bit. Ooh. And we'll take this one that was cool, but does not have nearly the color, and we will squish it on here. That is going to be so pretty. I was going to use this one, but... Okay, I like that, but I'm not sure I love there. And let me Oh no. Okay. There. <laughs> Okay, a little drippy. Let's just, I don't think you're supposed to do that. But, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I like that. I like that one. This one, I actually like. Um, even though it doesn't have the blue. I love the gold shimmer and the pearl shimmer. And this one doesn't have much pink, but I like that. But you know what? It doesn't have much mixture here on this green. So I'm going to pour some gold here. I better do it on camera so you can see. And share this experience with you and put some gold down here and there because I don't want to really smear any of the pink. Now I'm going to move this one and bring this one back where I can give this one a little bit more overall color, I hope, around the edges. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm not getting anything right here, so let me 
smush that. And I think I'm good. Okay, I think I'm good. Now I'm gonna let these dry and I'm gonna cut these up. Okay, the papers have dried. Um, this is such a pretty shimmery gold and I love these colors. I love this painted paper. And <laughs> this one may be my absolute favorite. Now, I'm hoping you can see the shimmer by flipping it around. This one's really pretty. That one's very pretty. This one's gorgeous. And all of these are different. And this is another one of my favorites. It's, you know, a shame that I didn't get up there. Now, another thing is I had these two also. I didn't hardly get anything on them. And they might have their uses or I may add more for later. You know, while, while I'm here, I might just go ahead and add some, um, um, maybe I'll add some black to this, this one. I was going to just finish up this video, but let's, um, let's add some black and white. Just for drama. If for no other reason, just for drama. see what happens with that because this is an experimental day anyway and we'll add some of the shimmering pearl which is white on this white paper and I don't know if that's what we really want but that might make a gray and let's just do something more fun with these we'll add some more we'll add some of this more of this pink. Oh, this is the one that was at that terrible consistency. Oh gosh. Okay. Let me, that just might just totally cover it. I maybe don't want that. Too much pink, too much pink. Okay, now, got some, ooh, got it squishing out. That is squishy. Let's see. That's definitely, we're going to want some more off of that. I just happen to have one more sheet left. And that's pretty awesome. And let's add it's kind of messy. Turn it around this way and try and get all of the paper covered at least. And yeah, I'm making a big mess but there we go kind of interesting I think it needs a little more color 
So even though we have plenty of paint, let's throw some more color here and some blue. This is almost like ink. Okay. One thing I do like working out on the patio is I don't have to worry about making a big mess in the house. Oh, there's so much paint on here, it's lighting. Okay, one last pull. And I'm just going to, this is slick paper, but I'm just going to pull off some of that paint because that is a lot of paint on there. On that slick. Put it on here, squish it around. We set that to the side. Okay. Well, it's a painty paper. And it will probably look good with the right kind of stuff. Uh, what happened to the blue color? I don't know. It uh, We lost the blue color in this. So I'm going to throw some more blue on there. And... Make a big mess. <laughs> And then this is the thin paper, the cover. And this is the thicker paper, which is, and it's still gonna run. So let's let it do its thing. And let's leave it like that and we'll leave those two to dry. I'll take the camera off and show it up close, which is awesome. It's making an amazing background. Almost looks like an aurora borealis. This is the thin, thin one. And this is the heavier paper. So, I think it turned out pretty cool, after all. Quite a bit different than the lighter ones, uh, which of course I've checked now and you cannot see that shimmer on that gold. Maybe you can that way. But, Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and you liked having fun experimenting with me, just um, hit the like button and subscribe. I would love to see you come back. So, thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.